Hi, I'm um, just about to start a new video series on medical statistics. Just got my head around this stuff. Pretty tricky. So, um, we'll see how it goes. So, I'm just going to go over prevalence, incidence, and risk. Um, and give some definitions and also some differences of what these are. Um, this is kind of the foundation, really, of, of um, most medical uh, literature um, uh, re research, etc. So, okay, the difference between prevalence and incidence. I'm going to draw a line, and this line represents time, which is moving onward, okay? Start from about here. So, this is time, and the line represents time progressing. Now, different people are going to manifest disease as time continues. Some people may have already had the disease before the time period that we're looking at. But some people are going to manifest the disease during that time period. So, the, each line represents a person, each single line. Someone else might manifest the disease this point in time and they're going to have it throughout some person might manifest it here and have it throughout and so on and so forth so you see the dots represent people when they contract the disease infection or when they first present as having the disease right now prevalence prevalence would be me picking a point in time say let's say here let's say as time progressing this is the point I pick and at that point in time in my population of four people three have the disease that I'm looking at so I would have a prevalence of 3. So prevalence equals 3. Now incidence. Incidence would be when I observe a time period. So whereas this represents prevalence, incidence would be a period like so. And as you can see over my observed time period we've only actually got one new case arising. So my incidence is one. So prevalence is three, but incidence is one in my population. Now there are differences between, there are different types of prevalence and different types of incidence. And I'm just going to explain them now. This type of prevalence, what we're looking at, is actually called point prevalence. It's prevalence at a single point in time. But there is something called period prevalence and period prevalence we'd use for a different type of disease now I'll give you examples going back now to point prevalence point prevalence may be say people who have diabetes so let's just say we were looking for diabetes here and three people had diabetes and then we have one new case of diabetes so our prevalence of diabetes was three our incidence was one Period prevalence tends to be used to, to measure episodic disease, for example asthma, where you might want to measure asthma attacks, or say you might want to measure epileptic fits. So we're talking about episodics, the key word, episodic disease. So if we wanted to measure episodes of asthma, picking a single point in time is not going to be useful, because the chances of someone at that exact point in time, having an asthma attack are pretty slim, it's going to be a pretty useless measurement. So we're actually going to pick like a period of time and we're going to observe who has asthma attacks over that period of time. That's period prevalence. Now that's actually different to incidence. Incidence is new cases of disease. In 
period prevalence, we know these people have disease, but we're looking for the episodes, we're looking for the acute exacerbations, the asthma attacks, and that's what period prevalence is all about, and that's what makes it different from point prevalence. Now with incidence, we also have two types of incident. We have incidence rate, and we have cumulative incidence Cumulative incidence is also used interchangeably with the term risk, which I'm going to talk, talk about probably in the next, uh, next video. So cumulative incidence, risk. When people say risk, they often mean cumulative incidence. They tend to be used interchangeably. Now, cumulative incidence is the number of new cases arising, accumulating. So actually, I mean, this is a little bit unhelpful, but this would be a cumulative incidence measure. Whereas incidence rate um, would be new cases arising. The equation actually used to calculate would be new cases arising over like person time. at risk. So the amount of time people have been at risk of contracting the disease here, how many people actually got it here, that's incidence rate, that's a rate measure, whereas cumulative incidence is just the total number of new cases arising over a period of time. And these incidences are also used in um, different ways. Cumulative incidence is useful in a stagnant popu population where you don't have many people moving. So you don't need to worry, you just simple measure over a period of time. In my population, nobody moved, everyone was around. Whereas incidence rate is more useful for a dynamic population, maybe a city, say like London, where you've got loads of people coming and going, coming and going, or you're looking at a specific, um, specific sorry, ethnic group who are very mobile, you know, they might be going to their home country and coming back here. So cumulative incidence won't give a very accurate measure. We need something more like an incidence rate for this dynamic population. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. I'm not sure how many minutes I've gone on for, so I'm going to just close it there. But we'll be posting a new video shortly, just going into risk a bit more and the different types of risk. I hope that's helpful. Happy revising. See ya.